Okay, this one is video five, and it is the second half of the answering questions and what to expect when you do the detox box. So I got cut off right as I was about to talk about hydration. So that's where I'm gonna start. So as I was saying, when your detox box arrives, <coughs> excuse me, you are going to have a recommendation to drink a gallon of water a day. Um, what Matt tells his patients in office is to have one ounce per pound of your total body weight. For some people, that would be excessive. Um, you know, if you weigh over 250 pounds or 300 pounds, you're not going to be able to consume 300 ounces of water. I think that would be dangerous. Um, so our rule of thumb is going to be about a, a gallon a day. Now, you're going to get your water bottle. And it says there's four refills. Let's get started, first refill, second refill, final refill on the front of the bottle. That's the equivalent of a gallon. What I am recommending is that at least three times during the day you have a hydrate and that counts towards your total water intake or liquid intake for the entire day. Now that could be that you add hydrate to this if you want it really watered down. You can add two hydrates if you want it less watered down and, and do that twice. The rest of the time water, whatever you want to do. But I want to talk a little bit about hydration because it's really important here. Hydration has nothing to do with how much water you consume. Okay, Hydration has to do with how much water is retained at the cellular level and balanced with electrolytes. Electrolytes are calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. Your heart is a battery. That battery runs on battery acid just like your car does. That battery acid is a salt. Those salts are magnesium, potassium, sodium, and to some extent, calcium. No one is deficient in calcium but most of the global population is deficient in magnesium and potassium. And if you're eating clean, you could be deficient in sodium. We have a need for these things in order to make our heart function, which in turn makes the rest of our organs function and it makes the blood circulate from our heart throughout our body. Remember, go back to the kidney video, your kidney cleans out the body by blood circulating through the kidney all day long. We can't impair cardiac function. Too much water will actually dehydrate and can be dangerous for the body. You have to have adequate electrolytes in order to do this properly. On a normal day, we recommend all of our clients have two hydrates per day. For this, I'm going to recommend a minimum of three. You might need four. You are going to have to self-regulate. If having too many electrolytes causes you to have stool that is loose and urgently evacuating, then back off. If you find that you feel like you're getting too much water, you're faint, you don't have enough energy, up your electrolyte intake. Now that can also include the post-workout, which does have the same electrolyte base with the anti-inflammatory function and the quercetin and branched-chain amino acids for muscle building, so depending on what you're doing. Now, if you are not an existing client and this is your first introduction to Bedrock, <coughs> the bundle included electrolytes and I had mentioned in the first intro that was really important if you were not already a client and you didn't already have hydrate to get the bundle so you had the hydrate on hand. We do sell jars which is 60 servings that would be two per day for 30 days. Also if you've taken one of my classes there is an electrolyte do-it-yourself mixture that can be mixed at home and uh, that's it 
the week four video of all three classes, the Keto Master Class, the Paleo Total Transformation, and the Carnivore Code Class. So make sure you check that out. Now, what I like to do is mix up a gallon of that do-it-yourself electrolyte and then flavor it with a little bit of the hydrate, make it stretch a little bit further, or I will do two hydrates per day and one post per day. That's my usual regimen. I might need to increase that. As you consume more water and your kidneys function better and you are trying to push these things out, think of the water as being kind of part of the filtration system. You're pushing these things to the kidney to try and make it circulate to get the toxins out. As you consume more water, you're going to need more electrolytes, so keep that in mind. But it's going to be highly individualized. That's why everything we do always is customized to the end user and you'll be able to ask questions in this group and we'll work through those things um one thing um i do want to point out um is if you are drinking water and you're drinking spring water that's great don't drink uh distilled water um because it because by virtue of it being distilled it doesn't have any um uh, minerals or anything in it and so that's a bad idea that's the last thing I want to say about water okay moving on to the next thing which is your supplementation if you are an existing client and you are using your customized supplementation program that was designed for you don't stop you're gonna take those supplements your uh, ID nutrition every day the same way that you would and then add to it your two packets for your detox box AM and PM. So when you would normally take your AM packet of your IDN, you're going to take your AM packet of your detox box. If you are not a client and you are uh, using uh, the detox box, you're going to take the AM packet in the morning when you wake up after breakfast, sometime before lunchtime. And you're going to take your PM packet um, in the afternoon, and it can be, depending on when you take your morning packet, if you take it first thing in the morning, you can take your PM packet at lunchtime. If you take your morning packet a little bit later in the morning, you're gonna take your PM packet either at dinner or before bed. Um, but there is, they're clearly delineated, there is a sun on your morning pack and a moon on your evening pack, and you're just gonna take that twice a day. Okay. Um, in terms of supplementation with the custom nutrition, remember we customize your nutrition so it's exactly what your body needs and it changes and adapts to fit what your body needs over time. Supplementation should never be one and done. As your body heals and grows and performs, we take away the things you no longer need and we continue to make it relevant to you in real time, evidence based. We have the science to support what you need, why you need it, and when you need it. That's what makes the ID nutrition or the customized nutrition so different and why we have more success than most practitioners because we are treating you as the individual you are epigenetically and genetically. So if you have not yet had your assessment, schedule it today. It is the next step, okay? If you already have yours, you're going to continue to take it. And what I want you to think about is, right now you're putting good stuff in. You are customizing your nutrition, your diet, your supplementation, and your lifestyle to the body you have in order to get the body you want. When your body is gunked up, for lack of a better uh, phrase, and your organs are not performing optimally, or you have methylation issues or glutathione function problems, and your body's not cleaning itself out, you're putting good stuff in. And remember, we talked about this in the last video, but the bad stuff hasn't come out yet. So your absorption rate of the good stuff might be on the low side. You're going to have an enhanced benefit of the good stuff you put in when the bad stuff goes away. So you're going to notice you're going to have higher absorption rates. You're going to feel better from the existing nutrition that you have. And you're going to notice even more improvements. Okay. Last thing I'm saying on that. Next. Sorry, I have a ton of notes and things I'm trying to get through and recovering from being gone last week. Okay. Um, 
this is the first step. This is the groundwork. And I already talked about how this creates a, a foundation for us to build from. Um, the one thing I wanted to say in conjunction with that, going back to that point of bad stuff out, good stuff in, now we have a clean foundation. All the things that we teach you about diet, nutrition, and epigenetics, and sleep, and stress management, and sunlight exposure, and movement, and all of those things are going to come back to this. So let's say that you're dealing with thyroid function issues. You're putting all the good stuff in, you're eating all the right stuff, but your liver isn't functioning properly. Now, with your liver functioning properly, your body is going to be able to do more of that process better, and you won't have to overcompensate for what your body is capable of doing. Same thing is true with anxiety. If you have anxiety, depression, your serotonin levels are low, most of your serotonin is created and absorbed in the gut. If the gut isn't healthy, we can't get those serotonin levels up. So by cleaning out the system, making all the processes work better, you're also going to naturally be able to create more serotonin, which is in turn going to regulate the epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine in the brain. Improve mood, clarity, function, concentration, focus, all of those things. Um, one of the biggest things that people ask is, will I lose weight? And the answer to that is yes. Do I know how much? No. But why? So I want you to think about fat for just a second. And if you've taken my carnivore code class, you've heard me say that the fat is where the nutrition is. So let me expand on that a little bit. When something, anything, comes into your body and cannot be immediately used, it gets stored. Excess glucose in your body, so excess sugar, carbohydrates, gets stored as fat. Excess vitamins and minerals get stored in fat. So what happens is the body can't use that vitamin or mineral right now, and it's let's say it's not a water-soluble vitamin, so you don't just pee it out. Um, your body is gonna trap that extra nutrition by building a pocket of fat around it using the excess carbohydrate in your diet, which is why when you reduce carbohydrate load, you can turn fat into glucose and burn fat as fuel gluconeogenesis. However, it won't burn the, the stores of fat that are protecting you from something. So as that fat burns, those nutrients are released into the body, right? And the same is true of toxins. If a toxin gets absorbed through the skin, taken in through the mouth, whatever it is, it's an environmental toxin and it's floating around in your bloodstream and it has nowhere to go, the body is going to take uh, the extra carbohydrate in your body and it's going to build a fat pocket around that toxin in order to store it somewhere because it has nowhere to go. The kidneys tax, the liver's tax, it has nowhere to take these toxins and get them out of the body. It's doing that over time, over time, over time and it's just exhausted. So it traps that toxin in your body and puts fat around it. Well, when you burn fat it's not releasing the toxins, it's protecting you from them. So it's holding on to those fat pockets to protect you from the toxins that it knows it's holding on to. When you are able to clean out those toxins, the fat will release the toxin, the, the kidney, the liver, the methylation process, the, the gallbladder, the pancreas, all of those things that work together are going to eliminate those toxins from your body. Now, that fat melts away because it doesn't need to be there to protect you. It has somewhere to send those toxins to. So when you talk about weight loss, there's fat loss, there's water retention or water weight loss, there's muscle loss or atrophy, and then there is inflammation. During the process of going through the detox box, you are going to lose stored fat that protects you from those toxins, so you will have fat loss. You may have some water loss if you're retaining water or if you are dehydrated.
sorry, I have the baby bunny with me today. Um, so anyway, um, the last thing, put the baby bunny on here. Um, the other thing is that you will lose inflammation. So as your inflammation markers go down, um, your body isn't fighting that inflammation, right? So you will lose some inches associated with inflammation, some weight associated with inflammation, but you will also increase your energy levels so that you can move more. You can uh, be, oh, poor baby. Oh, okay. Um, I have to give her some water. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly wrap this up and you uh, you can say hello to the baby, the rabbit. Um, and uh, so you, there will be weight loss associated with the detox box. And that is a wrap for that. And we will finish this up with a video probably tomorrow on some of the genetic issues associated with detox. I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Talk to you soon.